took my baby away. What's good, YouTube? Um, today is not a good day. It started off very well. I got up early. I got my coffee, went to go get me a, a do a little job order. I come out to the car and I have a flat tire. So the yesterday, I believe it was, I thought I heard and saw a nail in my tire, but I couldn't tell if it was a rock. So I was gonna watch it and maybe go to the um, gas station near me, not the gas station, like the car shop near me and see if, if it was and if they need to plug it so I can go back to my dealership because I had a warranty. The next day, I woke up and saw that the light was on. So I was like, oh yeah, let me call today because by the time I did it, the office were closed yesterday. So I said I was gonna call today after this one and drive by the shop and get it repaired. I come out of the shop and my tire is completely flat. Let me show you guys. Nobody's near me, so I'm not gonna put my mask on yet. Okay, and put my seatbelt on. Completely flat. Luckily, I knew someone here. I was talking to them about what happened. Somebody was out here doing an order with me. Um, let me tell them real quick. I got a tow truck coming because yeah, it's flat and I don't think they can fix it. So they gotta take it to the shop. And I'm supposed to have the warranty on it, so they're supposed to fix it either that or like $20 to fix it. You told them? Yeah. I talked to Geico and all that's what Geico did it and it's covered and all that. But I got all these groceries in my Put car. The I didn't finish the order. In my car. That's what I was gonna see. Yeah, and then Let me close out for one second and figure what's going on and I'll come back to you guys. Heck, it's cold outside, bro. <sighs> bro, it is cold. As you can see, I'm mad. So I check, look how old this thing is. This is five years old, going on six years. Okay, so this is the the form that I had and I talked to him about it. He thought I had a spare tire in my car, but I'm upset that I didn't because instead of getting the spare tire, we ended up getting a tire repair kit. And the tire repair kit is at home because one of the fluids had leaked out of it before and spilled everywhere. And I had to put it in the bag and leave it at home. So that doesn't do me any good. The tow truck is supposed to come by 9.15. It's 9.03 right now. And I'm about to put some of this stuff back. And I'm also, I want to throw this whole car away. I'm lying, I don't. But I need, I was thinking about getting rims and something else done on the car. And then I got this stupid thing. I didn't show you how my rims were scratched. I don't know if I showed you in another video. It's not scratched, but the paint is off. Um, I haven't washed my car in a while. So you can see there, the paint chip. Any chip on here? Not really, just a little bit. But yeah, I'm kind of like out of it, just sitting here now. I have to wait, I hate waiting like that, but they have a, so the tow truck's coming, I'm gonna ride with them. She's gonna meet me and then I'm gonna use her car to go drop the rest of this stuff off and while they fix my car. And ooh, it is cold outside, guys. This is, at least I got my heat working. But I'm just waiting on them and then I'll come back to you guys with an update and see what's going on. I need some heat and get warm. And let me call or check in with these people because I think they're trying to call me, I'm not sure. They just need to get their butts here because I'm upset. But let me go, it's cold. Bro, all right, just as an update, I'm getting someone to pick me up and give me a ride because I just talked to the person from the tow company. He said he was going to be on his way. They went from 9.15 to 9.37 and I literally just checked back within a minute or two and now they're saying 10.13. So I'm just going to take my stuff out, get a ride. I'll leave my keys in. I have my security and all that stuff so no one can get in and, and you know, start and all that stuff. So I can unlock it for the guy when he comes, but through my phone. So I'm gonna wait till my ride comes and then I'll give them a call back and let them know what I'm going to do. 
I hate this that I have to do this for one because of COVID and stuff. I really don't want nobody coming in my car. So I'm gonna go home and get my wipes and my Lysol and all that stuff too, because as you know, I stay in my car a lot. I mean, I know they're probably gonna be masked up and stuff still, but I don't wanna take the chance. And I really did not wanna ride in that tow truck with them. Like no offense, but you know, it's COVID. We're supposed to be staying six feet apart. It's just another way to stay safe. So I'm gonna check back again and see if this time changes, but my ride is about to be back before the tow truck comes again i don't know where they're coming from or not and the shop is like five five minutes away not even that long so we'll just see get an update from there i'm, I'm gonna go finish this order and i think i'm gonna be done for the day i should have just stayed my butt home this is what i get but yeah so just stay with me and we'll see what happens So everybody was following me at the same time. They took my car and I'm gonna go meet them there, I guess. As soon as I was talking all that trash, the guy actually pulled up, so that was funny. But at least I got it there. We're gonna go head over there and see what they say and how long it will be. Um, maybe do this delivery or not. We'll see what's going on. And I'll show you back when my baby comes back. Gotcha. So man, they got me out the way. Oh. I think they came all the way from DC too, bro. All right. Guys, I'm having a rough day. I come home and then I stepped in dog doo doo. So now I gotta try to clean this crap off. I'm just struggling. I don't even know where to put my phone right now. Hang on. Bro, well, this is really like the worst day ever. What's good, everybody? So, first thing first, I'm back in my car. I'm going to give you guys a little update. Hold up, hold up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The first step in trying to get it is I went home and got this. You guys know what that is? Yes. So we're going to go ahead and spray the car like that. He's swerving. All right. So I, <coughs> this spray, bro, is strong. So I just want to let you guys know my day has actually gotten better so i'm trying to find my wipes which i think i left in the house but either way i had spray and stuff like that so let's have a little story time my little chin strap let me just take this thing off because i look stupid but i was having a rough day i stepped in doo-doo and that just tipped everything off and i was so mad so they called me said they finished working on my car and they well they sent an alert 
and then I tapped the invoice and they gave me the price and I'm like what so then I was like alright I'm not gonna say anything until I get there and they called me and told me it was ready but I told them to do the inspection because I needed a car inspection it was way past due and they forgot so they were gonna do that while I was going around I had to pick somebody up and I was coming back to see what they say and um, actually before I did all that when I first dropped the car off I ran into somebody that I knew from my old job and also my parents knew and we were talking for a bit and what I didn't know is they actually knew the owner and kind of put in a word in and told them to look out for me and stuff like that which I had no idea my mom actually told me because he ended up talking to her I had no idea when I came back I saw I saw all the breakdown of the charges and everything and he said, don't even worry about don't worry about the inspection or anything like that. It's all covered. So I'm like, okay, I don't have to pay for the inspection. I was like, thanks. And then he showed me the rest. I'm signing the papers. He crossed everything out and put a zero. And was like, oh, yeah, you don't have to pay for anything today for the service. I was like, now, you know, that was a big blessing because I was not trying to pay that. And then I missed, like, a whole day of work behind it. So I just want to say I don't like saying names and calling people out, but you know, they know. Thank you for that because that was a big help. I, you know how it is going to the shop. One thing's wrong and sometimes you end up getting charged for all kinds of other stuff, but I'm glad. I had a nail in my tire, which I thought I saw before. I thought it was a rock like I explained before, but I wasn't for sure. So it did turn out to be a screw in my tire. They put on the paper a screw on there, I don't know. But that, everything on my inspection ended up passing. So everything's a go, I'm good to go. Now I'm going back to do some more work, I think, and then I'm going to go home. I don't know if this is going to be the end of the vlog or if you guys want to see something else for day six. I don't know. Because at first, my saying was going to be Vlogmas day six, use a. But as of now, I might go get something to eat and see. We'll see, and I'll sign off from there. Guys, I think my days got a little bit better. So I got my gummy bears, Hand Express. I know you guys like to see. Canvas, yeah. So you put view. That's all you get. That's all you get. So yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe. We're gonna end this video. Vlogmas day six. You definitely had some tricks, and we're gonna be gone. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Like my pinstrap. <laughs>